Hey, it's Valerie, One Happy Housewife, and we are in the kitchen today. I am going to be unboxing my new Milthy Crisp Lid. It's basically an air fryer lid that fits into most six and eight quart uh, pressure cookers. So it will uh, fit most any brand. It'll, of course, uh, fit the Milthy Multi Pot. It'll fit an Instant Pot and several other brands as long as it's a six or an eight quart. So I'm gonna be opening it up for you and showing you everything that comes in the box. The company was kind enough to send me one so that I could show you guys how it works. And it comes in a nice box. And I haven't opened it yet, so this will be my first time uh, seeing everything that's in it. And we have a recipe booklet. That looks pretty nice. Let's set this aside. So it's got recipes, a short user guide, and I guess warranty information. So we're gonna set this aside. And it comes with a lot of uh, handy little accessories from what I see on the box. Here we have a trivet, which will fit in your pot. And oh, some nice tongs too. Okay, I'm gonna open these. Set them right there. Comes with, okay, this is the cord. Okay, this is important. It comes with a silicon trivet, which I understand the uh, top, the actual lid, it gets very hot. So this is an important piece here because every time you use it, when you take it off of your pressure cooker, you're gonna wanna set it on this, never on like your counter or anything like that because then it can burn. So you gotta be really careful with that. And then it comes with a small basket. It's small, but I have an air fryer, a regular air fryer, and that's about as big as they are. They're definitely taller, but usually you have to place things in like a single layer. So this looks about the same size of what I could do in my regular air fryer. And here we have the lid. I'm going to set this down real quick, move the box. And we're gonna look at this. So the cord I read on their website is short, but it's short for a reason. It's so that you don't have an accident, end up tripping on it. So this is as short as it is, that's how it's supposed to be. They did it like that for a reason. And we have a lid and it's really pretty. So it's glass, as you can see. You see right there, you can actually see the food as it's cooking inside of the pot. And here is the handle. And from what I read online, the pot, this will not be on the lid when you set it on. It doesn't come on until the handle is actually like locked into place like that. So let's see what uh, buttons it has. It's pretty much like an air fryer. Um, I'm going to assume without reading, this is the stop and this is the start. This is for adjusting your temperature and your time and that's it. So that's all that it's based on. You set it at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time and then you start it and that's it. And I have my pressure cooker back here. And I'm gonna be getting a milky um, multi-pot in the next few days that I'm gonna be showing you too. But for now, I'm gonna try it in my eight quart. And let's see. So you wanna make sure that your pressure cooker is unplugged because you're not actually gonna be plugging it in when you're using the crisp lid. And we would just set it on top. You have to have your liner in there and use your stainless steel liner for this. And then you just set it on top and it clicks like that. And I mean, it's still, on there, it's, it doesn't like click on there, but that's how it works. So you would see what you're cooking and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the trivet in there. And I'm gonna move this over a little bit. But the trivet, the trivet is pretty tall. So it's a tall trivet and I'm sure you can use any other trivet. And then the basket would go in there and you would put this on top and then you would close it and of course, you'd have to have it plugged in, 
which for me, I plug it under the counter and yes, it reaches. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick so that we can see what it looks like. So see right there, it's off. And then when I put this down, then I would be able to select the temperature. So it's on temperature and it goes up and down 25 degrees and it does go up all the way up to 500, which is higher than my um, regular pressure cooker. So that's a good thing. And then I would press the time button and, and then I would adjust my time according to whatever it is that I'm cooking. And that's it. So I'm gonna take this off right now. And I'm also gonna tell you what we can use it for. So basically, like I said, it's got this little basket. That's my dogs, excuse them as usual. So we could put whatever food we wanna either broil or air fry here, like French fries or wings or anything like that. You put them in there and you're able to see them through the lid. And another nice thing about this is you could make, let's say some pasta in your Instant Pot and then you cook it regularly with your uh, pressure cooker, your Instant Pot, your Milty Pot. And then when you're done, you would take the pressure cooker lid off. You would maybe put some cheese on top, put the crisping lid on, and then you could like brown the cheese and like make it all crispy and delicious. So I see that as a positive because I can make whatever dish I'm making in here in my pressure cooker, and then I can crisp it with the crisp lid. And let's see. So I just wanted to show you guys everything that comes in it. I am going to uh, be testing it out in a little bit. I'll make a separate video for it. I'm gonna make a recipe of some sort in there, something quick that I can show you so you can see how it works. I am liking this because of the size. Seems to me like it's much easier than having like a whole big pressure cooker if you already have a, uh, I mean an air fryer, a whole big air fryer. If you already have a pressure cooker, this is perfect because you just need this little attachment and then you have both. You have a pressure cooker and an air fryer. So that's about it. This is everything that comes in it. I will be back and we will test it out and see how it works.